Hello everyone, welcome back to YouTube. I'm here in East Rutherford, New Jersey, Meadowlands, and which is a big weekend of WrestleMania. Today I'm going to show you a walk through WrestleMania Access, which has everything imaginable, memorabilia, superstars, autograph signings, boots, just about everything. So I'll get start started right now and show you around the place. As you can see, the place is uh, packed, just like every other day. Pretty incredible. I've always watched WrestleMania since 2001 when WrestleMania 17 became the norm. I never get tired of these places. Oh, sorry. So anyways, we got here a couple of uh, shopping memorabilia for you to get, left and right. You are getting getting some before I leave. Also, the promotions right here with Rock and Cena. <laughs> Got a couple of um, great seating ar ar areas for autograph signings, left and right. got here the throne of Triple H, which hopefully is going to be his last match. There's like a couple of autograph sign-ins from here and to there, but um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get through with most of them. Lines here are pretty big and it's impossible to even get one. Get one. I say get the shortest line imaginable for, for superstars that... Uh, that won't take too much time. Over here we got the C Nation uh, recording booth. You ready to have to sing uh, The Time Is Now by John Cena? I, to, I still have his album. Pretty nice album too. We got uh, more autograph sign-ins, the Bellas. And of course we got sign-ins from Legends. So got one, got a couple. This one's from um, Diamond Diamond Dallas Page, also known as DDP. Great legend. Been in a couple of good shows. Our left and right are, are just um, a couple of photo cutouts of superstars. We got photo shoots. This one's from Naomi Camp, Cameron. You know, just to tell you the truth, I am psyched to go to WrestleMania. It's gonna be incredible how it's gonna be like. What it's gonna be like. We got another legend signing, this time from Lita. One of, my, one of my favorite divas in WWE's Attitude Era. There she is. <laughs> Damn it, she's still hot even to this day. And of course, we got memorabilia from other from other mer merchandising. And we have here a couple, couple of memorabilia from Triple H. I think this was from two years ago, I believe. Taking on take the first time. more stuff right here. Triple H and the Barbarian. More Triple H stuff. I think this one's from Shawn Michaels. The other one's from... I don't know. I don't know. Oh, this was from an Undertaker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then right there is uh, more memorabilia. One from Shawn Michaels. 
Got a boxing glove. I think that's Randy Savage, right? Macho Man? Brother. Is this Roddy Piper or Mr. T? It's amazing how they have everything everything from, from WWE and they always have a thing. More shopping stuff. There's a money in bank photo shoot where you have where you get a chance to take a picture with the money in your bank and uh, Dolph Ziggler. I don't know when when Dolph Ziggler's gonna cash in his money in the bank. July is almost almost coming and he's wasting most of his time time showing off with it. We got more. Another photo shoot this time with Antonio Cesaro, United States champion. There he is. I'm wondering if the Miz is going to kick, kick his ass. <laughs> Now we're heading to uh, a section of W of great WWE champion titles. A couple of good ones. We got WWE championships from The Rock, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and of course the classic Attitude Era Championship. Then we got uh, I think these are new uh, NXT Tag Team Championships. I think they must have premiered here in NXT, though I never seen seen NXT personally. It used to be on the Sci-Fi Channel, then until they decided to do it on WWE.com. Then we got the Women's Championship with the fabulous Moolah. We got the World Heavyweight Championship, Alberto Del Rio, and the Classic Intercontinental Championship. And up there is the new WWE Championship The Rock presented weeks back. Pretty cool. Oh, someone taking pictures. I best not. Yet. He got more championships. Of course, the John Cena spinning WWE championship. And then here's the WWE Hardcore Championship. Um, you know. Being, watching W myself, I don't think that's what the Hardcore Championship looks like. I mean, it's supposed to be the classic WWE Championship, only a little more destroyed and covered with duct tape. This one's kind of new, and I've never seen this before. Maybe it's a one. Maybe it's a Tommy Dreamer thing. I, I really don't know. But if they had the Hardcore Championship presented, it would I would have known it by now. And of course, the ECW Championship. The Million Dollar Championship that Ted DiBiase presented. The WCW Tag Team Championships and another NXT Championship I haven't seen. The Women's Championship. And we got more. The Classic WWE World Tag Team Championship. Then the uh, then this one, the NXT Championship. I guess it's I guess it's another title that was presented in the show. I haven't I never got a chance to see. And why not? The WWE Championship from 2002 to 2004. And now moving on to more. We got the Divas Championship. Then the Tag Team Championships. The new one, of course. The United States Championship. And the classic Intercontinental Championship decked out in new school. A lot of good champ a lot of good championships. There's Arena Floor Access. I'm gonna have to take a look into that one quick before I go on. Now we got um, 
More casting calls right here. More autograph signings. This one's from Christian. And now we have like a big time display of uh, memorabilia from, from the classic WrestleManias. As you can see, a lot of good stuff. We got Liberace. Then we got Freddie DiBiase's cane along with some... i never seen a women's championship that small in my life, to tell you the truth. Promotional poster, Hulkamania t-shirts, other interesting photos. Andre Gi Giant um, attire, great clothing, which I've got to admit, pretty big. And you know, who would wear a sock that big and slippers that big? <laughs> that be our need the giant. Very awkward. More suits. I wonder if those suits were tailor made by Andre. For Andre. You gotta admit, it's pretty impressive. Cup. And why not? A big statue of Andre the Giant. Life size statue. Yeah, I never thought I knew Giant would wear a mask, but uh, whatever. A lot of Andre's giant memorabilia. It's impressive. Now we got the uh, Hall of Fame section, which I'm gonna come in, come into, come in soon tonight. A lot of good stuff. We got McFoley's memorabilia. Everything from Mankind, Cactus Jack, Dude Love. And then we have uh, Trish Stratus's uh, gear. Got the cowboy hat, the Canadian flag. Bob Backlund. And we got um, Bruno San Martino's class section. Big time, big time wrestler back in the day. More Bob Backlund. And of course, we got Booker T's attire. Although I wish they would have had more Booker T stuff. I mean, and he did a great job. I mean, five time World Heavyweight Championship, King of the Ring, King Booker, as he used to call himself. They should have added that. And of course, why not the celebrity inductee of Donald Trump? Look, look at all the stuff he has. He has the brackets, he has like all the razor stuff, Trump, raw. <laughs> look at all of this. More of the original championship from Buddy Rogers and Bruno Sarantino. And of course, one side, more Trish Stratus, 100% satisfaction. And more of uh, Bob Backlund stuff. A lot of promotional posters, too. Let's see, anything else? We got like Iron Television. B, Betty, C, Carol. Alright, here we go. Nova! And we got the... C is correct. It is Carol. C nation Carol question Cena. and answer. It's the mother of John pretty much. Cena. Pretty much. Right. And the wife now, I think of that, John Now, this Cena. is pretty much the outside awesome. of the convention. You have to see the inside just to um, experience it. I'm heading, heading on down there right now just to show you. You might, you might enjoy it. Oh, sorry. I know it's 23. There we go. Arena floor access. Right here. 
Now I want to show you the creme de la creme of the Access show. I haven't gone there yet, but I'm doing it right now. Coming down. Here are the rules of the game, Access. We've got our two super wrestlers. We're going to come in here. Gonna there it is. And uh, the, the first one to push the other creme de la creme. Out, of the, out of this little circle five times wins. No grabbing each other, no punching, no tombstone pile driving. You can no see the backstage area right, right there so showing pushing, off the... Pushing, 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 pushing with your hands and your big bellies. John, you understand? Showing off the, the stage, oh, whether it be a SmackDown, so Raw, Superstar, Saturday Night Slam, or or main event. We're gonna give you the entrance music. We're gonna go with Big Show first. We're gonna give you the entrance, the music. You're gonna come on in, make an entrance. Sound good? Sounds now it's like to show you all the um, the world's largest athlete, seven feet tall, four hundred and forty pounds. The now we got the VIP stage, which you have to pay extra for. And there's a race car right there. And in the opposite corner from West River in Massachusetts, weighing at 251 pounds, John Cena! Here's a little Freddy Pebble section. Of course, John, the Rock said right, they did the t-shirt, John Cena t-shirt yeah, resemble that Fruity Pebble, so yeah, obviously it's on awkward situation. <laughs> Along with a good old-fashioned phone right, pit. audience, unofficial poll, who he's going to win this competition? It's going to be Sumo Big Show. Sumo John Cena. On the other side is, is the uh, WWE 13 booth showing off right, stuff that's the latest Into game. The of the ring. Never play much of WWE games. I think I got the original Raw for the Xbox, but it might be enjoyable once you get used to it. And then we have the Power Slammers. We got Mattel's section showing off all of the uh, WWE merchandising. We got the Brawling Bodies. Got all the classic action figures. These are like one, two, three, so stuff. Oh, and here are the, the new, newest things, the power slammers. And Rumble Rampage right there. And of course, here's the center stage where they where they show people all of the wrestlers, all of the you guys ready? One, two, three, so the contests, the interviews, just about everything imaginable. That's pretty impressive. I can't, I can't believe this is like my first time. I mean, not only this is going to be my first WrestleMania, it's going to be my first live pay-per-view event, and of course, my first live event. One, two, three, so This is going to be a Great, great time. A really, a really a great time. That is a win for Ireland. Okay, so. Alright, three, two, one. All of it's pretty impressive. I can't wait for WrestleMania, and since um, we're dealing with who's gonna win or not, I'm gonna say uh, Chris Jarvis is gonna kiss uh, Bondango's ass. We got uh, Team Hono win the championships. We're gonna have um, Unshake It beating the living crap out of CM Punk. Our breath will win the World Heavyweight right. 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 Championship. Um, and of course, I want John Cena to win the WWE Championship. That'll be it. So that's pretty much it for my walkthrough. Hope everyone enjoyed, enjoyed watching it. I'll give you a good look at the uh, WrestleMania sign. Thank you guys. Thank you for thank you for seeing all of the good stuff I'm showing you. Stay tuned for more videos, and I'll see you at WrestleMania.